So I struggled with this video because it's supposed to be a dedication video to someone or something regarding my book, right? It's a dedication of my book to, which is Into Me You See Guide. Um, you could purchase it at www.ytkservices.com. It's supposed to be a dedication to someone or something that really helped influence that book. And um, when I thought about it, fortunately, but kind of unfortunately, I'd have to give it to my last relationship. And a lot of you can understand who have healed from a painful relationship um, that the most painful relationships are our most effective teachers. And mind you, I'm not just talking about a relationship with an intimate partner. It could be a relationship with a parent. It could be a relationship with a sibling. Painful relationships are effective teachers because relationships are very much a bridge or, 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 or practice ground for us to really show up in the most divine way, to really show up in a way where we are embodying love. We do that best through relationships, not through getting around people who are just like us and just always match our energy. I don't always wanna be around people who match my energy because people who are not matching my energy, you are now an opportunity for me to love in spite of, to be able to be patient and show grace, even though you may not show it to me or you may not show it for yourself. Depending on how you've really healed and evolved, you'll know that the most painful relationships are our most effective teachers. And trust me, a part of me was like, fuck that. Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not dedicating that to someone who, you know, to a, the, the, the track star shit I had to deal with, you know, always running in and out, like, fuck all that, you know? But that's my ego. Because if I'm going to be honest and look at it from a divine mind and look at it through a God lens, I know that this whole experience was necessary for this man you see right now. This whole healing man can 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 now really be in a place to love my queen in the most divine way. Create a space where she can show up and be who she needs to be at that time. Where where it's such a safe space that that she can open up and receive every part of me. She can see the frustrate, me being frustrated but controlled. She could see me uh, uh, maybe getting angry but able to communicate and take the proper steps for cool heads to prevail because these are things I had to learn to do inside of me through a relationship that was painful. And not everybody is intended to see you on the other side of your healing, nor do they deserve to nor do they deserve to. Not everybody has the capacity to love you enough and witness your transformation because witnessing your transformation requires people to be patient with you and show grace for you, you know, because transformation is ugly and not everybody wants to love you to see your transformation. They want to see you when it's done, but they don't want to see you when, they're, when you're transforming, right? And not everybody's intended to do that. Not everybody can really see past your wounds. And that's okay. Uh, that's why those that are only for a season are truly teachers for the journey. If you're only there for a season, you are a teacher for my journey. And I thank you. I am grateful for you. That showed me patience by not having none for me. By, showed me, by, by, by showing me grace by, by ha not having any to offer. I thank you because what it was is you showed me my reflection. You showed me what I lacked in me. You showed me what I needed to give myself. And you showed me what I also deserved. You showed me how intimate my relationship with myself needed to be. And that's why this guide was created. I thank you. If you want to get the book, it is out August 2nd. Go to www.ytkservices.com for your purchase. I love you. I love your soul. I love your journey. Peace.